What up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing another traditional Zendikar draft because these have been fun. This is a format I've been enjoying, and it takes a bit for me to enjoy like a, uh, you know, a regular set format. There's only 16 of you on the board in, in Stream Raiders. 18. Okay. You guys can do better. This is a very hard one. Okay, I kind of like Crag Plague Baloth. Does that make me a stupid Timmy or what? I mean, a 6-6 a six, six hexproof hasty creature seems really good and limited. Uh, excited for Vintage Cube coming back next week? I'm excited for every cube that comes back ever at any point. Yeah, I'm just taking the hexproof idiot. Come on, guys. Uh, Palaka Predation is probably one of the weaker ones, to be quite honest. Nothing in this pack is super exciting. Uh, Deadly Alliance. We just drafted Black Green, but I mean, it's really hard to pass a Deadly Alliance. It's clearly the the best card in this pack. I mean, this just seems like the Abyss. <laughs> and if you get to kick it, even better. And if you get like um, the 3-3 three, three that gets back a kicker card, like, okay, you just get to play it again. I'm just going to take the Deadly Alliance. Like, I, I think Draga Visionary would be the, the card I would take if I wanted to stay on green. But I just don't care that much. King Eater. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support, buddy. I really appreciate it. I do like a Vastwood Surge. And it does let us splash the black if we'd want to, which is pretty good. Yeah, we're just taking Vastwood Surge. It's also pretty sweet if you kick it. Okay, this is the third Vastwood Surge I've seen in this draft. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. I think it's just Vastwood Surge number two. The first one makes the second one much easier to cast. And, like, we could just take the best cards and we have two Vastwood Surges? Is that, is that reasonable logic? Am I crazy? I mean, I might be, but, the, you know, beside the point, really. Could one one for each creature for each one one counter you've put on a creature under your control. Um, it's actually pretty good with two surges. Maybe we just take this guy. Kazandu Stomper also not bad. If we get like lands, this actually this pack's not terrible. I'm gonna take the beetle because we have double Vastwood Surge. So if we're just like put two counters on all our things, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Canopy Bail off. This card is also for a huge 6-5 for 4s. I mean, you know, assuming you have lands. Double Vastwood Surge does make it more possible to splash all bombs, and Deadly Alliance is by no means, uh, means we're in black, so.
there's very there's very little fixing in this set yeah i'm gonna take stomper here mckinney stampede actually not bad we have double fastwood surge and we have no white cards so i'm just gonna take this guy um it's gotta be just blade 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 right like it's better than the insect i think S territory side cat could be good i'm just gonna go with the blade blade here i just want things that, that cost less than four mana and, and also less than three mana ideally And there's the third Vastwood Surge. Oh boy. Yikes. That is a yikes from me. I'm not going to take the third one. We're, we'll go with Dauntless Survivor here. Again, triggers Horn Beetle, so that's not terrible. But if we have a Horn Beetle out and then we go Vastwood Surge to put two counters on everything, like if we have three creatures, it's six 1-1s, one right? Like, you make a 1-1 one, one for each 1-1 one, one counter you've put on creatures you control this turn. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll just hit another Scoot Swarm. I'll take Blood Price. Maybe? What does this do? Plus 1, plus 0 oh for each creature in your party and has Menace. And this pack's pretty unimpressive. I think drawing two is good though. There's my top top tech tips, guys. Drawing two is good. I know these cards are super exciting, so I don't I don't feel like this pack is really uh, giving us much here. Mall of the Skyclaves is a card oh boy is that a card um maybe we're abzan and we're just splashing the black oh yeah that's uh yeah that's just not yeah i'm gonna put that on my crag plate bail <laughs> and then we're gonna feel great about it care about Nahiri's Lithoform. I do like Colony Ambush. And nothing else in this pack is super interesting. Yeah, I'll just take Colony Ambush. Especially because we have um, Kazandu, Kaz Kazandu Stomper here. and pillar verge <laughs> so many verges if we're sticking to sticking to white we have a three two and that's pretty much the only thing i care about here base camp Meh. it might just be the land and also let's us fix you get a hidden with the mall on the crag plate. I'll donate five bucks. I want to take Rabbit Bite. That seems better than anything else in this pack, to be honest. This is a solid green deck. Uh, Vastwood Fortification seems pretty sweet. Tizim Raptor seems fine. 
yeah, I'm just going to take this because, again, we have Stomper. And I think these are very, very good. Also, it triggers a uh, Iridescent Horn Beetle. One Quat Rare. I don't, know what, I don't know what that means. I don't know what a Quat Rare is. I think Rabbit, I think Rabbit Bite number two should be fine. I think we got a lot of <laughs> we got a lot of nothing going on here, but like we're getting a lot of good green cards for sure. Okay. Nope. Flash flying, nope, nope. This pack's kind of meh. It's a funny red fixing card. It just trades one land for another and lets you draw a card as well. What's our curve looking like? We definitely need more twos and... I guess just twos. And also creatures. Turn Timber Ascetic is probably fine. Don't care about you. Yeah, we'll just take 5-4 with life gain. Agra Constricta. And Mesa Lynx is kind of meh. If we got Mesa Lynx in the mall, it's a 4 5 flyer on their turn, and a 4 4 flyer on our turn. I don't think it's. Yeah, we'll just take Mesa Lynx. We have to assume we're just mainly. <sighs> I'm just going to take Marasa Brute. I don't think we're a deck that's going to have a ton of. Um. So what I'm looking for, different creature types in our party. Uh, mm, mm. Yeah, the green black 2-2 two, two could have been fine. I think I was looking more to minimize the number of black cards in the deck. And also time was a factor. Vastwood Surge number four, guys. Oh, boy. I mean, Dauntless Survivor's fine. Like, pretty much any 2-2 two -two that you put them all the, the Skyclaves on on turn three and you're attacking for four is probably pretty good. I think Gloom Hunter might be better. I, hmm. Yeah, let's just take the Thirst, I think. Thirst is better than Feed the Swarm for sure. And if we're going to take Gloom Hunter, I'd rather have the Thirst, even though it is two black mana to kick. Man, I wish we had the 1-3, because then we can actually make a bunch of cats with this guy. Do we just take Xerath Sam and, like, splash one island for our, for our Vastwoods? I feel like that's correct, right? We have double Vastwood. Yeah, okay. You guys are supporting it, so that's all I need to hear, really. Oh, I like Balagid Recovery, actually. That seems really good. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, let's just take the Balagid Recovery. Plus, I think that's like three, one, two, three, three non-lands. So we're actually at 22 cards, not 25. And do we have any rogues? Like one. <laughs> Why? What do we need rogues for? Oh, for Zareth Sam? I 
I mean, it's still just a dude we can flash in, right? When they don't have blockers. and then Or we can just put them all of the Skyclaves on it. Another Balagator Guru? I think Thwart the Grave is actually really good. That seems real solid. Also, yeah, we only have 57 guys on the board for this very, very hard one. Put your units in the Stream Raiders. I'm going to take Thwart here. Oh, interesting. Oh, Kazandu Nectar Pot. I mean, that's probably what we're taking just because we already have two Rabid Bites and I'd just like another two drop. We really just want to keep alive until our Vast Wood surges. I'm placing as many as I can. Place faster. It's so hard, it's so hard to see from here. Like, I think the cards are way too small that way. Um, let's take another Tajiru Snarecaster. Eh, take another Mesa Lynx, sure. I think we're at a point where like we're unlikely to cast these guys, but and this is again four, one, two, three, four, four lands that are that are also spells. So like one cut here. Marasa Brute's kind of unimpressive, but I do like having the. Oh, we also have Tajiru Snarecaster as a as a as a rogue. But was what I was gonna say is I like having a three drop. Here's another one. <sighs> yeah, I'll just take another troll warrior. Oh, another blight caster, sure. Take Prowling Felinar. That guy could be fine. Oh, which I want. Take Adventure Awaits. Okay, now we need some cuts. Another Mesa Lynx? Sure. Ow. Okay. Two blue, five black. We only have one, two, three black cards. One of them is double black. <laughs> uh, I might want to cut one rabid bite, keep smite and deadly alliance and blood pla but blood price, blood price, uh, not blood price, but uh, blood chief's thirst because blood chief's thirst to kick is double black. So we might actually want all these black, these swampies, but they're also not taking into consideration these. Which are mostly green. We also want the green early. I don't think we want two blue at all. I think one blue is just fine. These are all fine. The Kindy Ox is not making the cut. I think I like this just because it draws us two. Um, so this is what, 6, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 lands. We can definitely cut one. This is 1, 2, 3, 9 sources of green, 5 sources of white, 5 sources. We can cut one green. So this is what, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Take out scale the heights, probably both. I think we can take out one rabid bite. I don't think we have this is a cleric and this is a cleric. Might be fine. Take out one to your blight blade. How many creatures is this? 14 right now. Being able to get back Crag Plate Baloth at Thwart the Grave seems pretty sweet. Oh, 
or with Balagid Recovery. I don't think we need Snare Caster here. This is 41. We don't need links. I feel like we do. I feel like we don't want to cut. Like, then we have like one, two, three, four. I mean, like, I don't know. I want to I want to be able to go two drop into mall. Plus, links is just a good two, three blocker. And we only have like 13 creatures right now. So I really don't want to go down to 12 creatures. I might just play it like this. 41 cards with 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 19 lands. That seems okay. Okay, let's try our 41 card special with lots of sweetness. I think this deck's not going to do as well. I feel like this format is not as forgiving to decks that stumble on mana, but... We'll see. Guys, we'll see, I said. Did you hear me? Did you remember when I said that? It'd be like that sometimes. It do. You're right. Not right now, particularly, but okay. I like this. Is, this is fine. God, I really don't want to send this guy. I'm gonna send the expedition healer back because that guy's not doing us any favors. Just because I think with uh, I think with Crag played Baloth and Vastwood Surge, like I, I don't necessarily want to go with the seven drop, but. Hmm. What's better, playing this one face down or this one face down? Probably this one. If they don't play anything, I'm actually going to feel pretty good about Vastwood surging on turn four. Okay. You're gonna counter my my nectar pot, my one three. Can this guy be countered? Oh, it can't be countered. Wow. Nice. How was Enneker so far? I've actually enjoyed it, surprisingly. I'm usually not that big of a fan. Recently, I'll say I haven't been that big of a fan of um, just regular draft formats, but. pretty brutal if they counter it. Yep, that sucks. Wow. That's pretty good. Yep. Don't like that. Wow. I'm just like... I'm just like shocked at how good this was. I mean, we still don't know how to play this guy, but we could play either one of these, which is significantly better than doing nothing. Okay. Well. You can guess. Anti cognition? No. this guy deadly alliance nothing okay I mean to be fair I think standard is much better now than it was
but they just draw two. They have three mana. I'm going to assume this might resolve, maybe. They can't vanquish this guy. They can't blood chief's thirst this guy. I don't think there's a reasonable counter. So he's still going on about how it might resolve after it's already resolved. So if we hit another land, we can crag plate Baloth next turn. Oh boy. It's a lot of islands. Like, if we had seven lands, we crag play Baloth, and then we Kazandu Stomper to return, like, two spells. Seems good. feel like having them chump block here. Like if they're going to take six, like, they're just going to eat our guy. What did they, what did they do? Just make a 5-5? Five five? Okay. I mean, actually, this guy got Death Touch. Which is pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We cast this for 6. I just toasted a bagel and put some garlic butter. Bagels and bagels are so good. I think I think we're in good shape here oh what up Filk Money long time no see my dude tell Japan I said what up back I assume you can also get blood back and you can literally get this is a very good very very good sure yeah this card's real good not loving it pass my turn So we can actually fight here, which seems just fine. Three, six, seven.
I mean, this is a pretty bad block for them. They know we have Vastwood Fortification and Colony Ambush in hand. I think this seems fine. Good gravy that took a while. Yeah, that's fine. You just take three, they'll gain two, they'll take one. And if they want to bounce two guys, they can that's fine. We still get Crag Plate Baloth. Call the ambush next turn, fights a thing. That's also their whole turn because it costs eight. They get to draw two, make a six six. It's pretty good. Oh man, that sounds friggin' delicious, dude. Packing a whole jar with with basil and then filling it with olive oil? God damn, that sounds... I would drink that. I mean, can we just, just let me draw them all of the Skyclaves? Oh, they're bouncing their own Royal Mage. This is a pretty sick combo. What are the odds they chose the wrong player? Oh, they did not. Dang it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Maul the sky clears for the win. One time. One time. And that, that's not it. Five, six, seven, eight. So they're gonna cast this guy for six, get it back again. I guess that's fine. Say no attacks. Big bubs. Big snare arena. Recast an instant or sorcery or wizard spell, put a charge. Can't, yeah, okay, don't care about that. Tempted to just shoot here, right? But that doesn't really do anything, right? Like, this is just as good. We're doing this now because I want to be able to have... If we draw the other Vastwood Surge... 
I want to be able to put it on the board and... Canopy Bailoth, eh? Uh, rock and roll is still beating. Sure. That guy just doesn't seem great here. So. See, that was the reason I might have wanted this guy in the graveyard. Oh boy. I'm worried about losing my mall here. God, 7-7's seven really causing us a fit here. Even this guy's only a 6-2. Sure. A lot of things happening here. I have a lot of live draws here. That's actually a very good one. Yep, that's a big dude. All right, no attacks. Don't really feel like having a double block and trading for my Bailoth here. Maybe if they didn't thwart the grave, but we also don't have a second black for that, so that's actually fine. Okay, two planes is fine for now. That's okay. Boy, this is a grindy game, man. Sure. Well, we have 19 left, so it's going to be a while. Yeah. 30-30 now. No attacks. I mean, it's going to be... Pretty great if we draw our Sky Mall. Well, there goes the other Vastwood Surge. But it's not Sky Mall. And I have no flyers, so like if we just play Sky Mall, we just kill them with this. Shh. Mm, I guess not. That's pretty good. It was a planes anyway. I think we might be dead here, yeah. It's time looking like 17 to 24. Jesus, they're taking significantly longer than us. Still no hit. 
Actually, first strike, right? So. We're at 23. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. But they didn't play anything. Huh. Or do you just get rapid bite back? We also have four timeouts to their zero timeouts. I mean, the alternative is that we um, wait for them to hit Sky Clave, Sky Mall, and then we just get it back, which is also a good plan, but the fact. They have a 6-5, six, 6-3 six, flyer on the board uh, that's giving them 6 life a turn. Is a little bit kind of uh, what we want to avoid. Alright, <laughs> 10 cards left. Wow, triple royal mage, huh? That seems good. Let me guess, get blood boiling again? No, just this one? Okay. Blood boiling? Is that what it's called? Blood beckoning. Well, I'm gonna play this for now. Do a hard counter? A negate, perhaps? So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we don't even die if we actually... Like they can kill this guy and we still, we're still fine. But we are going to gain the life from the Nectar Pot. All right, Deadly Alliance are Nectar Pot. This is just turned to any creatures, right? It turns to two creatures to their owner's hands, yeah. So you can bounce one. So you play this for four, one, two, three, four. Sure. Six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, eleven, twelve, zero, forty-eight, six, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We go to five. And they have a floaty boy that they can block with. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifth. We take fifteen. We go to seven. They just got a fifteen minute warning. This is game one. <laughs> and we have twenty two minutes, twenty three minutes. Yep, this is what I figured. They would attack with everyone but the sorry boy. Oh, and there goes the one removal spell we would have wanted. That would have been really good. Not sure what we can draw here, but... Uh, this does not hit players as far as I know. Uh, damage target creature. Bounce that guy. Draw two. How many cards do you have left? Twelve? Okay. You 
We've got it. I mean, if we find a way to deal with this guy, I don't know what's left on our deck. Deadly Alliance, maybe? Deadly, uh... I think we do still have Deadly Alliance. One in seven chance, perhaps? Man, that would be so sick. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep, that's probably game. This basically hits almost everything in our deck. Oh my god. We have so many things. We have two removal spells. One, two, three, four. Neither of them do anything right now. That's too bad. We're gonna go five, we have one blocker. Yeah, that's fine. Three, four, five, six. I mean, it doesn't really matter is the point. Why don't you have trample, you f stupid idiot? <sighs> you got it. And you got it. I feel like this entire game was pretty much decided on that one uh, counter spell in the beginning. Like, I think this game would have turned out completely differently if we had. This is a lot of stuff. Like, this is a lot of wasted time that you're just doing. When I'm at five. Why are you showing me these things? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Man, you got it. Eleven minutes on the clock, Jesus. I think our deck is fine like this. Our sideboard's not really anything great so I think we're just gonna submit like this This battle's gonna be ready by the time, uh... Let's do the battle while we wait. We got 30 seconds. I'm just gonna start early. This is Stream Raiders for you guys watching on YouTube. Oh, 
Our opponent just got back, so. It's okay, there's 11 enemies, 9 enemies, 7 enemies, 5 enemies. We're deciding to play first in our game. And our hand actually seems fine. I think I can sit here for a second. I have two enemies left. And I believe they're these houses. Oh my god, it's taking so long. One, one left. Come on. Come on. Kill that pumpkin-headed dude. Oh my god, just kill the house. Thank you. Okay. Grant the rewards. Back to the map. Collect it. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Collect it. Okay. Do this one. It's very, it's hard. So, place your doodlers. I'm going to go down here so we don't get flanked in the center. Put your guys at the bottom. Now we're back to the game. Keeping this hand. We got a two drop and a draw two. So, if we don't hit a friggin' forest, which is our high, most highly represented color. It's really our own fault at that point. Maybe not. I don't know if that's true, but... The point is we should draw a forest. That's pretty good and nice. Wow, this is every every fucking planes in our deck. That's fantastic. <laughs> Jesus God. That's amazing. Solid shuffling action. got it so we can play this now not play anything else or we can just play blood price assume we'll hit a green source i think it's probably blood price here there's a green source and a deadly alliance that's actually pretty good hmm these two are also fine we're gonna take deadly i guess forest You got it. So they can tap two. If they can play a three drop, they can also just kill this guy, which is whatever No blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana next turn. Just need double black for this guy. Oh. Speak of the devil. Do I just get to attack here? That seems too good, right? What? You're just taking six? Okay. <laughs> I 
I tried to unclick it so I could fucking click it correctly and it didn't let me. That's fucking cool. That's so stupid. Wow. That was amazing. Six mana to get a fucking expedition healer? Wow, that's extremely frustrating. I literally tried to unclick it. It didn't even let me submit. It just, I clicked it, and then I was like, oh, they're not asking for the cleric. They're asking for the other one. Let me unclick it, and then it just friggin' clicks it. Like, <sighs> Jesus. It's so huge. That's such a, that's, that's the game. That's literally game over. That's insane. Leave frustrating. So frustrating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this can cost six. We can get back the stupid clear. Like I just gotta read it better. I guess it's my. I mean, it's my own fault technically, but. Okay. That's a cleric. Oh, that's even better. 100% block here. I have three cards in hand? Wow, so now we can get turn timber and the other dude? Milling us seems not great here, but... Sure. That's, that's actually pretty sweet. Um... Of course, we have nothing else to do. I mean, the amount of value they have here is pretty sizable. <laughs> Choose one. Target a creature card. I mean, I would love to Blood Chief's Thirst that guy as well, but... Yep, that's fine. Those are not exciting. They don't have six mana, though. They can't actually kick either one of these. They can activate this and kill one of our guys, which is fine. We have three removal spells in hand, though. You don't have to sacrifice it? Wow, that's pretty good. Do, 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 do
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first time I literally only had uh, this guy and the canopy bail up. So. Got it. Deadly Alliance again. The value is so real. You just steal another six, then they kill our guy, but they have no pressure. Sure. This guy's dead, right? Hundred percent. Jesus. One man away from kicking it. Yeah, that's pretty beefy. One, two left. Yeah, it would have been three to kick. Wow, they just took it. Okie dokie. We got 24 units on the board, guys. Set your units. Set your little unis. They have four minutes on their clock, we have 16. Hmm. 6-6 six, six Hexproof is, uh, is, a real, is a real beater. Okie dokie. That's a three for one. I feel like this is not a deck where Smite the Monstrous is going to come in super handy. They have Deadly Alliance, which does nothing. Geyser Mage, which does nothing. So, feels pretty okay. They also have to win in three minutes and we have 15 life and they have no pressure. That seems fine. Hmm. I don't even know if I play the Stomper because they can just kill it with the Alliance. Maybe that's fine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna return one and then just replay it. So now I have Smite up and they can actually Deadly Alliances if they want, which they do have to do. But they have to, like, find a way to beat this thing. Eh, Ruin Crab does not do it. Okay, that'll land. So they have one land in hand. 
Sure. Oh, they're just, they're just taking it? Okay, fascinating. How much time did we have? 14 minutes. That's a good amount. Good amount. So they have to win this game in like three minutes. That's... That's fascinating. Do you have any cards that get rid of their graveyard? Because <laughs> that would be good. Uh, I thought that was game three. I literally thought we won two. Jeez. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, actually, oh, I would have taken Smite out. Smite's been rough for us this matchup. Um, yeah, we'll definitely keep this. We have a Maul and a Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh, and that guy on two? Into Maul? That's a friggin' that's a friggin' beating. Oh man. Is a rogue? Interesting. Well, there goes our one island. I mean, they're trying to win, right? So, like, let's just kill all their creatures and next turn we can blood price. You got it. Man, this is rough now because we have our one land in the graveyard. This is also hard to race. Um, Deadly Alliance for sure. Probably Stomper? So next we can alliance for four, kill the stupid Nighthawk. We're at 13. Oh, I guess we took two and three and two. Five cards in the graveyard, huh? So this guy's a rogue, this guy's a warrior. Attacks, huh? Two, three, four. So we got six cards in the graveyard. Man, if only we had a blue, that would be so sick here. Two, three, four, five. God, the friggin' blue source being in the graveyard is brutal right now. And they're at 20.
I don't think we're in the driver's seat here, guys, which is kind of sad. Okay. It's actually fine when you have mana issues. Sure. It's got two or three. Two? Okay. Thank you. Oh, Spencer, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it. That was the last sub for like two hours. Jesus, guys. Get it together. Support the channel. They have to win in a minute and ten seconds. I cannot get over hitting this one fucking blue off. You have, you have one trigger from this stupid soaring thought thief, and you hit the one blue for when I have the one blue card in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually amazing to me. Get another black. Get another white. We literally just have to survive 57 seconds. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but stranger things have happened. Forty-three dudes in Stream Raiders. Make sure you place your guys. We have ten minutes left, and uh, this is a level four. So interesting. They have 25 seconds. Is this real? Oh my god, I was like, if it's not a land, maybe we can win this turn. But it was a land. And by win, I mean not lose. I'm gonna put it on here because this means they have to, uh... oh, this actually might be terrible. This was actually a complete misplay. That was a complete stupid boner. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we're not dead. Oh, that actually wasn't, because it's not going to go anywhere. So it would just force them to use that, which is fine. But it also put a card in the graveyard. It's going to go in the graveyard anyway, right? So... Sure. Two seconds on the fucking clock and they hit exactly. It's like, it's so fucking stupid. Two seconds, literal two seconds on the fucking clock, dude. Arena's had a clock for literal, literal months. Cool. It's so infuriating. Like waste you waste every second of your possible time, and then you just literally have exactsies and two seconds in order to go to the combat phase to do it. Like it's so fucking stupid. Meanwhile, I drew like six lands in a row. So if I draw like any card that affects the board in any way, we have a totally different game. And, like, it, it, literally, I'm stuck with a blue-black rare card in hand, and they mill the literal one blue card on the one trigger they get while we have the... we draw the one card, the one blue card. Like, it's just, like, cool. I don't know. Like, it, it's... I'm, I, it's just, like, the perfect storm of bullshit. Like, what are you gonna do? I don't, I mean I don't think I don't think our deck was that much worse than theirs like I think our deck is fine but I think it was it was definitely a situation of like everything that can go wrong did we milled the single island when we had the single blue card in hand because they got one hit uh they had two seconds on the clock
Like, I don't know. Like, we literally drew, like, four lands in a row, so, like, we had no spells to play. I don't know. It's frustrating. It's just kind of annoying, because I feel like that game was not uh, out of the question for us to win, but... Can we land? Nah, I didn't think so. What do we got? Hold on. One, two, three, four drops that we'd like to play here. But instead we draw sorcery speed removal spell. Yeah, these do look nice. Yep, cool. Sweet, another four drop. Alright. I'll just watch my opponent play magic because <laughs> that's fun. It's okay, we only have 20. It's we only have 20 lands. There we go. Would you look at that? I don't know. Now I'm just like tilted from the last match, but like it's not helping that like we miss land drops and have a handful of fours and Okay. So one, two, three, so we can play this. Can't can't do anything with this card. Uh, so we can just play this in block. It's probably fine. Two or less. Yep. Because, like, then we're going to end up getting two guys back with Thwart the Grave after we Fastwood Surge. So. And we're just blocking here. I'm not in the. <laughs> yeah, you obviously have a trick. Man, get a load of this guy. I'm going to buy the Lotus Pack and I'm going to buy all these lands. It's going to be sweet. So we got nine power on board and we're at 11. And we have nothing that affects the board in any sort of meaningful way. Cool. Let's just concede. Man, missing one land drop is like the literal fucking end of the game. Like, super cool. What do we got? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 mana sources. Literally half the deck. That's not enough. Not enough. You should have 24 mana if you want to hit all your land drops. I kind of like 1-4 here instead of like 3-3. Three, three. Oh, it's definitely hard to tell what they are. That's actually a good point. Like, while the lands are cool and I really like them in terms of their aesthetic, like the old borders... I definitely can, uh, yeah, we'll definitely keep this. I can definitely, uh, relate to them being pretty unrecognizable. I'm not going to risk not having a, a land on three or whatever, so. Or not having a green source on three, rather. Yeah, like, this is Plains, and this is Swamp. Those are those are those two are relatively obvious. <coughs> well, I'll get a load of this guy holding down the fort here. One four OP. Sure. Two three ones? Okay, I'll sacrifice my two two. You got it. And I'm just angry it's successful. I mean, like... I'm not upset that it's successful. I mean, I definitely want magic endeavors to do well. Uh, sure. I mean, if you give it indestructible, that's fine. Okay. Seems good. I don't think subtle strike is very good. Like that's just my opinion. So like when I'm getting blown out by it, it's kind of, it's kind of dumb. But 
It's okay, guys. They only have... They only have seven power on the board, so don't don't worry too much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, well, Bailoth should be decent unless they play another one of these guys. Hmm, okay, that seems good. Well, we're not attacking here because four, five, six, seven, eight, then we take ten. I don't think we're winning that race. Is this a beast rogue? No? Okay. You got it. Oh boy, that's that's good. Oh yeah, just keep on keep on growing that guy. It's great. Yeah, these have been good matches. One was uh, completely lopsided, the other was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We cast this guy for six, bounce two lands. Uh, let's get back this and forest. Play forest. Get rid of this scumbag um still not attacking i still don't feel comfortable like we attack they attack with everybody we block here we take three four five when we're at seven not great not great bob not great bob fast for three four five six well we have nothing to get back this turn that can stop this guy One, two, three, four, five, six. We can Vastwood Surge to get second black, second green, which seems pretty good. Uh, if we block here, block here, we take three, four, five. Hope they don't kill us. Does this guy have lifelink? No, it just can't block, right? Sure. All right. Go to four. Okay, we can Balagid Recovery for three. We have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually do everything here, which is pretty nice. We can get rid of two things. And then we have two blockers, and we take two, and they have one card in hand. Five. I got three. Get my B T on, hop out of bed. So now I have one, two, three, four. Actually, we don't have enough. I miscounted. This was four, five, six. Yeah, we're missing. We're shy one. I mean, I guess this is three and this is four. So in terms of blocking, yeah, of course you have. Of course, that's your last card. Why wouldn't it be? Yep, that's game. Because now they're going to guarantee deal three and we have to block every fucking other. Cool. This has been incredible. This is an incredible experience. Literally have to have that. And of course you do. Why wouldn't you? From three O to O three or one two. Not ideal. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree that card is really weird to put in. Like, it, just making your guy indestructible is not that great. 
like if it's indestructible and draw a card if it's indestructible and it brings the guy back when it dies or something like all of those have uh secondary effects that like you can benefit from like oh cool this guy will trigger again or you know plus two plus oh and indestructible like it literally does nothing but make your guy indestructible without any sort of token strategy which is super weird but it just has to be the last card in their hand or else we get to actually stabilize so um yeah i'll keep this very weird how frequently we draw multiple planes and zero green sources but I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the shuffle arts so I'm sure it's fine hey it's a green source so I think it's just two power guy we can just play this guy next turn and get a counter and it's not a huge like same thing basically but this guy's at least attacking for two I mean, I'm just going to attack because, like, the 1-1 one -one trades with everything anyway, so if you're just going to trade your 1-drop for my 2-drop, which they don't want to do. Oh, that's good. That's going to be easy to deal with. So we have second black. We have a blue third white we might just get double green here sure easy easy trade um <laughs> yeah you love to see it which is which is why they're playing like reclaim the waste which is hot trash What are you talking about? It's a draw two for four mana. Oh, look, another land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to four. Ten, ten lands, four spells. Boy, don't you love to see it. Well, you know, sometimes, like, when you get to a situation like this in game three, it's kind of like, well, I wasn't meant to win. I was just meant to dirtle around and get my ass kicked. So, and then it make, kind of makes you feel better about the whole draft because it doesn't feel like you wasted your time at that point. It just feels like you, were, you know, the universe was unfolding as it was meant to. So, okay. What well, do do they? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. And I don't want to encourage them. But do they have any kicker cards in their Roost of Drake deck? No? Okay. Canopy Bayloth, sure. Sure. Just gonna play land here. They have four cards, we have one card, our card is a land. They have four cards, we have no cards. Sure, sounds good. Trigger all the things. If they're just playing this guy as a dude instead of like playing it next turn. Wait, why would you play this? Why wouldn't you just play this this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why wouldn't you just bounce my guy, make a two, two? What? That's so weird. Guess I'll take ten. Cool. That's a, this is a solid distribution of lands to spells. Solid distribution. <laughs> Oh man, I'm completely favored to win games like this. Jesus. 
It's just like, I mean, like, why bother? Like, why even press the buttons and submit the decks and play the matches? Like, if, like, I'm literally just going to get my dick kicked in the second I hit submit. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand. Like, okay. Like, 12 lands, 4 spells. Okay. I understand. The, I understand the message you're trying to tell me, Magic, Magic Arena. I mean, now it's just, I do feel like I'm just going through the motions now. I'm just trying to lose my last round, so like, that's so I can just be done with it. Sure. Like, don't, don't care, really. Yep, another black source. Three black sources, I'm pretty sure that's all that are in the deck. And, uh, no, no green sources again. Okay, another green spell. Sounds good. Yep, another another green spell. I'll play nothing this turn. Sounds good. Fashion draw two. Wow, that's actually hilarious. But I might just play this guy. Sure, big fat three four. Whatever. How much time left in stream raiders? Oh, we haven't even started. Dang it. Ugh, dang it. We'll do it tomorrow. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Double Vastwood Surge. Sure. Yep, that was the only thing in my graveyard. Okay. Well. <clears throat> second green third green. I don't think we need double white for anything, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, man. Sure. <laughs> That's kind of funny when we have no creatures on board. Obviously, target yourself. Killer in response. Good job. Good fucking job. <sighs> of course you have literal uncommon modal dual face land that pumps your guy high enough to kill my guy. Don't need to suck a white for anything else, he said, after drawing all of the skyclaves. Yeah, alright. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.